Hello and welcome to this Ecommission Deconstructed video. Today we're gonna have a look at a new algorithm since version 10.3 called image registration. What it does, it computes a transformation matrix to a line, so shift, rotate and scale two input layers stored in two different maps. The calculation can be based on key points found automatically. So that's an option, do it automatically. Existing point vector layers or transformation matrix, so three different options how to do image registration. Important is that you have those two scenes that you want to register to each other in one project and those scenes have to be in different maps. So in the main map, for example, you have the original that you want to register to and in another map you have the shifted or tilted scene that you want to register to the main map. So two maps are needed. So let's have a look. I prepared an example here in eCognition. Um, first of all, I want to create a project for each file that I have. So I have two files and uh, one that is shifted and the original one. And I use predefined import here, generic raster one file per scene and I navigate to my folder, simply data folder and I have two files here. You see this one and the second one is shifted, rotated and scaled. Click OK. It's going to create two projects and that's just a, a tip how you can create easily um, a project with two maps. Now you have this project here. That's the original. And here you see this one is tilted and shifted. And if I select both, right click open, it will create a new project um, and create for each project that you have selected a map, right? So now I've created this two maps project and you see we have main map and this map shift rotate scale. So main map is the original and this one is the shifted one. And now I'm going to show you the algorithm. It's called image registration. Yeah, you have to define the base layer that is in the main map, one of the layers. I'm going to go for layer one. And then you have to define which map holds the unregistered layers. In my case, it's this BX24. So the shift rotate scale and use array for unregistered layers. I don't need that unregistered layer. So you can select which layers. you want to have registered and I'm going to select all four of my map here method three months as mentioned before automatic existing key points and existing transformation let's go first for automatic you have two parameters here max number of key points and key points to keep a percentage so you can play around here if the result is not as expected Output layer name prefix, so it's going to create new layers in the main map and they start with this string. That's all right with me. Um, you can store the transformation matrix in a variable, save transformation matrix, uh, set it to yes, and it's going to write a file onto your hard drive. Um, I'm going to keep that at no. Export key point matches. JPEG, yes. So that's going to give you a screenshot of the, the key point and the matches of um, the original and the, the shifted one. Key point matches, so where, where it's going to start. I'm going to leave that default in the workspace directory. And yeah, let, let's save a transformation matrix as well because this um, uh, transformation matrix. Um, because that's also an option that we can choose here, existing transformation, and we can choose the transformation matrix. So I'm going to use then this one that I exported here to show you that this works as well. Execute this, and this should create four new layers in the main map, registered layer one, two, three, and four. And let's see, they nicely align. Okay, I'm quickly going to split the screen and display here the second map. So you see this one is shifted and here 
it got adjusted to the original input. So there's no shift anymore, which is amazing. Um, now let's have a look at the export, the results. So we created this transformation CSV. It's simply a three times three matrix with nine values and those are representing the transformation matrix and we can use this as well and point matches here you see which points were used to match the input and the shifted uh, file and I see there's one here this the small ship goes to a wrong point here so it's not 100% correct but it looks good actually the result um, let's assume you don't want to do it automatically uh, we have the option here instead of automatic to do use existing key points what you need then is a base layer key points a shapefile and unregistered layer key points and I'm quickly gonna create it here in eCognition uh, using the manual editing toolbar to activate it you have to click here manual editing toolbar then choose thematic editing I'm gonna create a new layer um, thematic layer one I'm gonna call it original point layer okay and now we're working on main map and I'm gonna quickly put in some points where I think so I'm trying to distribute the points a bit over the image it's very quick and dirty but and here that's how it is yep maybe I'm gonna take one in the center here the second crane there we go um, save it and now I'm gonna switch to map 2 we have to make sure that we are selecting the same points in the same order I'm creating I have to be on map 2 I'm creating a new layer called shift it's a point layer okay and now we can go in and do the same so first point was here in the center last was this one right awesome save this puppy shift save let's display the shifted map and our points so that looks good I hope so remove editing mode let's quickly check we have seven points here and the main map we also have seven so that should work out uh, fine now we can use those layer base layer key points original and unregistered is shift and I'm gonna name them differently um, I don't need the transformation matrix to be honest no all right let's try this one and we have more layers and again that looks good so if, if I display different layers um, so layer one two three are original then this was based on the automatic and this one are based on the key points so I don't see w visually any any shifts right so it worked pretty good last but not least existing transformation and I'm gonna load this transformation matrix that I created previously I already have it in the project right um, as this uh, variable um, and yeah let's use here matrix and execute this one so that, that works as well Okay, now it's a mess. <laughs> okay, good. Um, 
Let's have a look again at uh, the two images that we've uh, started with. Original on the left hand side, I'm gonna display here the shifted, right? So it's tilted, shifted, and also scaled actually. And using image re registration, put this image perfectly on top of my base image, the original here. This is an example <clears throat> of aerial images. You also can apply, for example, on scanned plans. If you have scanned plans, for example, you um, can run the automatic uh, approach and that usually works very, very well because you have nice contrasts of the text and so on. Uh, for remote sensing, it's a bit more difficult, uh, the automatic approach, if you have a forest with uh, changing uh, patterns and uh, textures and contrasts. So you might need to go with the key points, right? But that works also very good. So try it out, enjoy it and register your images. <laughs> Thank you very much. Goodbye.